Welcome to a new video. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to this channel. Also hit the notification bell so that whenever we upload a new video, you are notified. For the repeat viewers, we thank you for the support. In today's video, we will be talking about a hydro power project in Ethiopia, Koisha uh, project. As per the 10 year strategic plan, Ethiopia needs some 20,000 megawatts electricity power for its national wide uh, economic development. The Ethiopia government plans to provide electric uh, services to all parts of the country uh, over the coming years. Ethiopia is known as to be a power deficient country. Hence, the government of Ethiopia is making efforts to complete the construction of several hydropower projects, one of them being the GAD and now this Koisha hydropower project. This project is located in south, uh, southern part of Ethiopia and is one of the hydropower projects being undertaken in this country. It has a capacity to generate 2,160 megawatts of electricity and it's the second biggest hydropower project in Ethiopia. The biggest is uh, Grand Ethiopian Resonance Dam Gad. Apart from providing power to a country that is described as power deficient, the speedy completion of this project will also contribute to a lot of efforts being made to make the area one of the Ethiopia's uh, key tourist destination. Uh, Koisha is one of the new tourist destinations developed project in the southern, uh, southern nations, nationalities and uh, people's region along with Gongora, Wanchi, which are located in Amhara and uh, Aromia uh, regional states respect, uh, respectively. Koisha hydroelectric project will be the fourth plant in a waterfall dam system on the Omo River. Other uh, hydroelectric projects include uh, Gilgil Gibewan, which has a capacity of uh, producing 200 and I mean 200 megawatts, Gibe 2, which has a capacity of 420 megawatts, and Gibe 3, uh, which has a capacity of 1870 megawatts. All these are currently in operation. There are other plant Gibe 3, Gibe 4, and Gibe 5, which will be constructed later. The contract for the creation of the uh, this plant in terms of engineering, procurement and construction was signed on March 2016 by the Ethiopian Electric Power which is which also commissioned this project. And these, the, f uh, the financing the project, uh, I mean this company or this government agency, Ethiopian Electric Power is financing the project and uh, they signed an agreement with uh, Salini in pre Impregiro, an Italian company uh, which is constructing this project and others. The project includes the construction of a 175 meters high dam, the Aurora compacted concrete, with a holding capacity of 6,000 million cubic meters. The plant also uh, comprises of an outdoor electric power stations, which host eight Francis turbines with the capacity to generate uh, I mean, 2,160 megawatts and an annual production capacity of 6,460 gigawatts. Floods will be discharged by means of gated spillway located on a side at the left side of the RCC dam, a large channel with a flip bucket designed for reducing flow of about uh, 13,100 uh, 13, uh, meter cubic per second in a plunge pool adjacent to the river downstream of the powerhouse. The dam is crossed by three steel penstocks feeding an open powerhouse. One of the intakes is lower to allow the early generation using the first two units during the first impounding. Project includes a two six meter diameter middle level outlets which are embedded in the dam body allowing to control the reservoir level during the first impounding. Release artificial ecological flows and uh, lowering the reservoir level for inspection or maintenance needs. The river diversion, uh, river, uh, diversion layout includes two concrete uh, calvards on the side of the river, which are aimed to divert the river during the dam construction and are designed to discharge 3,000 uh, meter cubic per second and an, an upstream composite RCC or Rockfield Coffer Dam. Both the river diversion layout and the energy generation operating rules of Koisha have been optimized 
taken advantage of large flow of migration capacity of the upstream GB3 project. Tandem operations of the two projects allow to maximize energy generation and provide greater uh, flexibility, guaranteeing power supply during the dry season and peak demand period. The main features of this dam, uh, it is an, it's an RCC graffiti dam with a height of 175 meters and a crest length of 990 meters. Uh, RCC and a rock fill cover dam with a height of 42 meters and a length of 330 meters. There is a gate, gated spillway uh, which has a capacity of discharging 13,000 meters cubic per second. Pen stocks which are 3 with a length of 0 0.65 kilometers. Powerhouse which uh, has is open air has 8 turbines. Uh, with a capacity of 2160 combined there's a switchyard switch, uh, switch and uh, which which has uh, capacity to evacuate 400 kilovolts the project is commissioned by the Ethiopian Electric Power the EEP the government agency uh, which is in charge of electricity in Ethiopia other permanent works include a bridge over the Omo River and comes including facilities for the land. The project also includes access roads, a new bridge over the river, and a 400 kilovolts transmission line from Koisha to Gibe 3 for the purposes of ev evacuating power from this source. Koisha Dam project is expected to cost 2.5 billion euros. Uh, as we know, 95% of Ethiopia energy supply is achieved from hydro source. Currently, there are different efforts uh, to cut hydro power share to 70% by generating from various renewable sources including geothermal. Plans to fully electrify the country by 2025 are in the course. That's why the country has embarked on the developing these hydro power projects. More than 65% of, of Ethiopians have no access to electricity. So completion of this project will go a long way in providing power to this uh, population. In recent years, Ethiopia domestic electric uh, electricity demand has witnessed a dramatic increase, which is propelled by unprecedented uh, growth in the GDP. Yet, Ethiopia plans for electricity sector in the f near future are even more ambitious. By 2025, the country is striving for 100% electricity access, a tenfold increase in power generation capacity since 2013 that would not only cover internal demand but also allow a substantial electricity export and a fully decarbonized economy. The key to becoming the, uh, the green battery of Africa is accessing its exceptional renewable source potential estimated to be around 60 gigawatts of electric, uh, electric power from hydropower, wind, solar and geothermal sources of which hydropower represents the largest 45 gigawatts. The Ethiopian electric uh, power Corporation has thus embarked on uh, uh, ambitious dam building programs intended to exploit the abundant water reserves. Among the mega, mega infrastructure projects, these tribute are, are being constructed uh, include the Guard, which is along the Brule River Nile, uh, these uh, Gibe 3, uh, Gibe 2, Gibe 1, even up to Gibe 4, Gibe 4, and Gibe 5, and now Koisha. And uh, some of these are already commissioned, like Gibe 3 was commissioned in 2015. And these dubbed, these have doubled the, uh, the electricity capacity uh, in Ethiopia. With the completion of this project, it is expected that uh, it will go a long way in meeting the demands for the for electricity in Ethiopia. Omo River is a significant uh, source of uh, hydropower in Ethiopia. Uh, all the five gibbons will be located in this uh, river and now Koisha. It's one of the largest and steepest, uh, steepest Ethiopian rivers and has been the main target of the dam expansion given its uh, remarkable reserve of unharnessed hydropower potential. It originates from uh, Ethiopian Shewan highlands and the streams southwards through a mountainous area before slowing its pace as it meanders in the lower Omo River. 
at the Ethiopian Kenyan border, the river forms an extensive delta and contributes to about 90% of the inflow to Lake Turkana and uh, a lake which is in uh, Rift Valley. And the, it's one of the world's largest desert lakes. But construction of this project, uh, there has been, uh, uh, there has been uh, opposition because uh, it's believed that uh, with construction of so many projects along the Omo River, which is the main source of water for Lake Trukana, this might affect the waters in Lake Trukana. So we'll be looking, uh, we'll be following up to see how this will uh, unfold, how the project will go on, uh, whether the project will be uh, beneficial as envisaged uh, in solving the electric problem, electricity problem in Ethiopia. So. Uh, join us in our future feed videos as we embark on uh, looking at the progress of this uh, cohesion project and other projects which are designed uh, along Omo River. So thank you for reaching this far. If it's your first time here, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, hit the notification bell so that whenever you upload a new video, you are notified. Welcome for more videos in the future.